Hello, 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 and welcome to the Viva La Vulva. Wait, right, I just started. started. Well, let's start again. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <False> start. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to the Viva La Vulva podcast. I am your host, Dr. Kara Quant, and I have my favorite guest on the podcast, Lily Wang from Metamore, um, and i like to thank you for joining us today for this podcast episode. Um, today, we are diving all into sexual devices, which are what they are called now, according to the medical um, powers that be in OBGYN. They call them sexual devices, but uh, they're also called sex toys for people out there that are not familiar with sexual devices. Um, So we are talking all about vibrators and other things that you can use and kind of how to get started if you've never seen a vibrator and never owned a vibrator, um, this podcast episode is for you and people who have had vibrators, but they want to try different ones. um, Lily is going to be showing us all different types of vibrators. So if you guys are listening to the audio version of this, you need to hop over to the um, YouTube version of this to see all of the lovely... vibrators that are uh, that are on the on display here Um, so let's get started Um, so I wanted to to start by actually talking about sexual devices because I had never heard of it before I mean I've always talked about sex toys I've always discussed it or you know if patients are open to discussing sex toys we can talk about it and I've recommended different ones to them um, and, uh, but yes, more recently, actually in my last, uh, um, my, in my last exhibit, in my last Viva La Vulva exhibit, I did have, um, an OBGYN who's also a sexual medicine, um, uh, expert, uh, talk about sexual devices. And I was like, what, what is this? So it basically encompasses all of the things that we know as sex toys. Mm -hmm. Um, and giving some statistics, and this is from a medical journal that I just looked up. Um, but more than half of women actually have used a vibrator. Um, and nearly one third of women have used a dildo, Um, And more than three quarters of women who have sex with women have used a vibrator. Um, And so sex devices can be used for people who have decreased libido or they just don't have the desire to have sex. Um, People who have anorgasmia or a hard time having an orgasm. Um, Problems with deep vaginal penetration. Partners who have erectile dysfunction. Um, so these devices or t- toys can be used for all different types of things. They, they could just be used for pleasure. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wanted to yeah, start out with talking about that, um, that they are now considered sexual devices, but for the most part, they're sex toys to me. <laughs> um, and so, uh, but you were saying, Lily, before we started recording, um, that there are certain vibrators and certain um, things out there that are considered medical devices, right? Yes. So I love that we're talking about this topic because this is exactly what I do all day long, every day. Talk about the products, the vibrators, sex toys, you can call them sex joys. I think some people- Sex still joys, have, I like that. Yeah, the connotation that a vibrator is like, ooh, naughty or still hidden under the bed or under the nightstand type of thing. But vibrators, sex joys, it's not to replace anything. It's almost like an enhancement. It's an accessory to your sexual health and wellness. A lot of these do help with um, sexual health conditions. And that's why I think the term sexual devices comes into play, like dilators. There's a lot of therapy that this helps with and pelvic floor muscles, pelvic uh, building up Kegel exercises to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, as well as post and pre-pregnancy. So there's a lot of information out there that can help with health conditions, but a lot of these sexual devices and toys can help with pleasure. And I think that's where we're bridging that gap now for those who need it for health, but you might as well also, at the same time, a bonus, enjoy, why are you working on that health 
aspect of it, you want to be able to enjoy, um, have those peak orgasms and really benefit from all of the pleasures why your body is designed to do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> yes, and I have said in many different instances, and I will say again, that the clitoris is only made for one thing, which is pleasure and orgasms, and so there's 8,000 nerve endings there, so there are all many devices that are out there, many toys, joys that are out there that stimulate specifically the clitoris, and it's used for pleasure. So these are all things, and I think within um, sexual health is pleasure, the pleasure aspect of it. Um, and so, yes, if you are looking for something out there to enhance your pleasure, um, there's thousands, actually there's, yeah, more than thousands of devices, more than thousand things that are out for your um, choosing. Too many products. So Too many products, which you could get very overwhelmed by, right? Very overwhelming. So let us help you kind of narrow it down a little bit. We'll break it down into some categories today and tell you what to look for. And so whether in any price range, category, wherever you are in the world listening to this, uh, you should be able to find some of these devices that are similar, if not a good replacement or these products exactly. Um, back to what you are saying about the medical class devices, it's kind of like different tiers and registrations and certifications. So there's food that are food grade, safe, and then there's organic, there's natural and then organic. There's medical class devices that are kind of like the organic level, but then everything else is safe. It just may not have gone through that process of testing and it's really expensive. Also, mm. a lot of manufacturers don't like testing on animals. And so they therefore won't go move forward getting the certifications because you always have to test on animals for whatever reason. But um, that's where sometimes you'll get that level of classification. And there are manufacturers who say they want that medical class to device certified stamped with a seal and they have that, but then yeah. everything else could be considered novelty um, to help for pleasure. But we've also found through experience that these pleasure devices can help your sexual health. Hmm. And so do you, do you have like a, a percentage of like, I mean, just like a rough estimate of, uh, div, uh, vibrators or sex toys that are out there that are medical devices? It'd be a very small percentage. Oh. Exactly. Very small. Yeah. Because then it gets into the category of medical equipment and that's probably what you're seeing on the hospital end. And maybe doctors are using it in the laser rooms or almost like pre-surgery to test and a lot of um, medical wellness medi, medi spas are using a lot of lasers right now for like mm -hmm. vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah. It's into that category. These are definitely more like colorful, fun, pop, pleasure, something you could just go buy at the shop and then it might have gone through the extra steps. But otherwise, that's where I'm talking about there's such a big gap between toys and medical equipment. But yeah. A few of those devices that have that stamp. Mm -hmm, I see. And um, to to get kind of started in like what things to choose, I would say um, the ones that are non-porous. Um, so you want to do ones that are non-porous and the ones that uh, and porous means that it can trap bacteria and hold on to bacteria. And so you want to go towards the um, the material that is non-porous, which is usually silicone. Um, I mean, there's glass, there's glass dildos, there's glass, a lot of things out there. Um, there's also stainless steel. Um, so those are things that are non-porous um, that are going to be easy to wash. They're safe. Um, they can last for a long time. Um, and it is less likely for you to um, pass on things like STDs uh, with it because you can clean it very easily and it's not holding on to bacteria and other things. Bingo. You said it all perfectly. That's <laughs> correct. <clears throat> so everything I'm showing today is all of a high class medical grade silicone or a very body safe silicone, very non-porous that you can wash in warm soap and water. We always recommend using a toy cleaner and then also even using the UV device where it's really using a light UV um, that's become so popular in this past year, of course, just sanitizing, purifying, um, killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria, including some viruses too.
So mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So clean. So yeah, definitely using cleaning devices for your toys. Um, and also the U I haven't used the UV yet. Um, but what you can also do if you don't have a UV light, uh, but you can also get it at Metamore, um, uh, is just put a condom on. Um, especially if you don't have any issues with latex, you can put a condom over um, most devices or most toys um, mm -hmm. without being um, a problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as you fashion for us um to demo for you right now yes <laughs> yeah those are really good like just tricks to use really quickly um to have and in case you don't have access to running water you can just use a condom <laughs> yes exactly but there are also wipes that are out there that i know that you sell on your website um so there's things that you can do on the go or on the fly um, um if you need to clean if you need to clean it um, but let's dive into more specifically, like, what are the different classes of toys? Yes, I love that we were just touching upon there's too many products out there, <laughs> that we, like, get to that we've mentioned already. So another time, but we'll dive into just the toys that we're showing here. So if you all are listening, make sure to like watch the video. But um, I love to kind of divide when I'm talking to folks about, hey, what are you looking for? Really? Everyone's body is different. Everyone's experience is going to be different. What's going to work for me is not necessarily going to work for you. And that's OK. There is no wrong answer. There's nothing that's wrong. Uh, there's everything's right and you're not broken. So how we talk about them is just how they were made to give pleasure to different folks. And if it doesn't work for you, that's quite all right. That's why there's hundreds of thousands of different products. And you'll find one that's right for you. So yeah. don't feel discouraged because there's so many options out there and you might like one now. And when you're also aging in different ages, different people, different body shapes and sizes are all gonna like something different. And what I like now, I may not like 10 years from now, or I definitely don't like what I liked 20 years ago or 10 years ago <laughs> or whatever. So actually getting to that, I was gonna share my first vibrator experience yeah. um, because I had a, well, I used to watch Sex in the City. I feel like a lot of people know that show. Um, and the rabbit was featured on Sex in the City. And I was like, oh, let me, you know, go out and get it because it looks fun. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting, I mean, I enjoyed, that was my first, very first vibrator. Um, and I enjoyed it. And I found that I had a different orgasm than I did with just my fingers. And so I was, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I probably used it way too much. I mean, not too much. I used it a lot. Um, it probably died. I think I even needed some batteries. <laughs> At that point, it was battery operated. So I had to like, replace the batteries every, I don't know, so often. Um, but yeah, that was my very first vibrator with like the little bunny, you know, with the clit stimulation and then the beads inside for the internal stimulation. So yeah, that was my very first uh, vibrator experience. <laughs> You know what? I thank you to Sex in the City for putting it out into the mainstream and light for being able to talk about rabbit style vibrators. This is a rabbit style one, which we'll get to. And then, of course, the neck massager, which was the wand style. Um, the wand style. Yes. So, <laughs> of, um, putting to and putting I'm still very scared of it. <laughs> Sleep. Oh yeah, <laughs> we talked about that. Like more like body sensual massage, and then you can work your way into intensifying into that area. Yeah, I think I should use it in my back first, <laughs> in my there, shoulders. We'll that. So like the wand, for example, this is a very uh, namesake. Everyone's heard of the magic wand, or I'm sure they've spoken about it or heard about it. Your girlfriends have talked about it. The magic wand has just been around for over 75 years. And it really started off with a corded version. And then now they have cordless versions that are all yes. retractable. And the idea that it's extremely powerful, it's got a very flexible neck, um, like Samantha from Sex and the City, starting <laughs> as a neck massager, if you want to call it. But then really for central massage, you and your partner. So this would be great for solo play or with a partner and just to whatever pleasure uh, feels good. So you were talking about Dr. Kara that it could be really intense and strong. So yeah, I can, I yes. stray from zero to a hundred. You want to Real like quick. 
warm up yourself, warm up to your body. And there's times where um, we were talking about the women of the history of women in sexual health and wellness, but Betty was always talking about how you could put a towel down and then that could also dull the vibrations, but mm. it will still get that rumbly uh, feel. And yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so we talked about this before, the, the Magic Wand. I actually tried uh, many of these products, and we discussed it, but the Magic Wand was way too much for me. It was way too intense, and yeah, I definitely took the advice of, like, using it as a back massager because it helps <laughs> It helps for that. I think it was just too intense for me, but many people out there love it and enjoy it. Right. Again, yeah. see, that's why there's different things for different folks, and what you like and what I like, someone else would love it and use it in a different way. So of course, um, the magic wand comes with different attachments. So you can use it for different parts of the body, like internal use as well, or external um, with partner play. It's, it's great. So it's just been a namesake toy that's been around for a long time. Yes. Yeah, 75 years. That's kind of crazy. Long time. Yeah. So one, of course, was designed for an external product. We kind of look into toys as internal and external couples. And then, of course, there's penis owner devices as well. But um, external, I think, is kind of the beginnings, first steps as you're exploring your body and seeing what your vulva, Viva la vulva podcast. Viva la vulva, <laughs> what it wants. As you're discovering your body and understanding what feels good for your vulva, you want to explore the lips, the labia, the clitoris, then you can get into the inner lips, into the vagina. Um, this is the most basic, a bullet vibrator. And so this is silicone encased. This is by Jeju called the Classic Bullet. It is rechargeable, five speeds, five modes of different vibrations. This one actually comes with a kind of a grip handle, I guess you call it, a grip handle. So for those who have like arthritis, they can use this and be able to kind of like mimic their hand. So when the vibrator's on, it would just feel like I'm touching myself versus having to hold something. Yeah. Oh, I like that little attachment. Uh-huh. And it comes right off. Everything's silicone, easy to wash. That's cool. That's really cool. I do have that one, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one is just popular for beginners. Um, it's very simple, external, so you can just touch and explore your vulva, like I was saying. Nipple play is great. I love using the advice of giving to those who are breastfeeding right now. And if your milk ducts get clogged, use a vibrator onto your breasts, and that will vibrate and break up the milk ducts so you can uh, breastfeed better. Mm. And you know what? There's also a lot of, I mean, I've... Uh, just there's a lot of research on vibrator or vibration um kind of medicine mm -hmm. um so actually vibrators can help for a lot of different things so you're talking about the milk duct you know clogged milk ducts um vibration can help with like uh bringing flow to you know blood flow to certain areas so that's why it's really good with internal stimulation um, so yeah, vibrator or vibration medicine is, uh, a, a thing. Like there's evidence behind the use of vibration in your body. Like you said, it's, um, a therapy. We can use it for therapy and yeah. back in the city. That's why that baby was able to sleep more soundly by having that vibration in the cradle and sleeping well. So yeah. there's a lot of soothing feelings to it. So it's healthy as well as pleasurable. Yeah. But <laughs> Um, so from that uh, bull classic bullet vibrator, I want to show you this other one. This is the Fun Factory Jazzy, and it's longer in length, of course. So you can see that for different body shapes and sizes. This one you would have to hold, so you can, of course, use it externally. But it's also designed that you can use it internally. So then you can start exploring and using it inside and being able to pivot and feel, make, see what feels good in your vagina. What I like about this one, because a lot of toys are all going to rechargeable, so you have to have a cable to USB recharge. This one is battery operated. And because if you're in the go and you're ever in the mood and your toy is not charged, you're like, dang it. Yeah. It's nice to have that has happened. a battery operated <laughs> toy having lying around. Exactly. So then you can just kind of grab this one, pop in new batteries, or if it's ready to go, you can just use it. But if your toy isn't charged, then it... <laughs> you got to charge it. It takes a while. Yeah. 
timing's not always the on our side. <laughs> if you didn't plan it or schedule it, um, battery operated is always good too. So this one's like super economic, valuable, you know, friendly, eco-friendly, um, and just affordable. That's what I was trying. To, affordable and then a battery operated bullet. And how many you have? How many speeds does it have? This one yeah. is one. So one. Okay. It's just on one, and off. On and off. Mm, okay. And you know, I was going to say, and you may have already brought it up, but it really does um, get to know your body and get to know what feels good and what speeds feel good. Because there's a lot of different ones that are out there. Ones that are like one, yeah, one speed like this one, ones that have pulsating, uh, that come and go, that like it's like a, yeah, there's all different types of modes to certain ones. And so um, it is helpful to know what you feel comfortable with or what feels pleasurable in your body, um, uh, the speeds. Exactly. The, there's almost too many variations with the there are. And pulses and patterns. So there's vibration modes and then there's different levels of intensity. So, yeah. this, you know, the classic bullets, this uh, the Jeju one had like five speeds, five modes, which I think is plenty. This is a very simple on off, gets the job done, quickie, uh, very affordable. So this this battery operated one is thirty dollars. Oh, OK. So I can't. Yeah. Mess that one yeah so you don't need and it's a super expensive like hundred 150 dollar vibrator you can just start out with something inexpensive and see how it works 30 bucks i know I yeah think one just you just need to kind of have like this one as a backup or even try this one first and then as you're exploring you figure out what you like and move on and go into like the advanced next levels so um these were like the external internal to start off with um let's go into the rabbit one that you were just talking about okay. uh for rabbit i don't carry the rabbit specifically because it really looks like a rabbit like yeah. with ears and i've heard a lot of feedback where it could actually be very painful on the clitoris because it's really intense mm -hmm. in that area so this is a dual motor this is the fun factory amarino and it actually has a very short um length uh, for different vaginal canals, different mm -hmm. lengths of body sizes. You don't want one. Some people don't want one that's like that's really this, long. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. it's you can decide on this one. You can insert as deep or as shallow as you like. But this one is designed for maybe someone who has a small vaginal canal wants to still hit their G spot. This also can um, pleasure the external clitoris and your labias and your lips on the outside like this. Mm -hmm. And then this, people ask me about this, like, what's that yellow band? Yeah, I was going to say, what is the band for? <laughs> and this is a very unique toy. No one else has this. You can use this. Uh, you can, it's optional if you want to use the band or not. So you can use the toy without the band. The band was designed to also kind of give pleasure to your lips in a different way. So when you have this on, you can have it twisted or, or uh, just untwisted. Uh-huh can actually just give more pleasure almost in the upper lip underneath the hood inside your vagina but like under the opposite end of the clitoris if that makes any sense okay so it's like where the vaginal opening is kind of and right yes we have a demo <laughs> we needed our little demonstration here sorry here's the vulva and then so when you're inserting it let's insert here it could, the band could hit almost kind of like the upper roof of mm. China as you're inserting. Okay. So it's almost just a different vibration point because there's dual motors here. The yeah. vibration is also giving pleasure in different areas of your vulva. Oh. Vulva has like the most sensitive of nerves. Your clitoris has 8,000 nerve endings. So everything is very sensitive. It's just going to feel good to have extra surface to hit that vibration. And you know what I was just thinking when you did that demo is that, I mean, so uh, the yeah. clitoris is not just what you see on the outside. It is like a wishbone shaped structure that you, that's on the inside. And so actually that could be stimulating parts of the clit, like the internal clitoris. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Your clitoris is in arms underneath these, these uh, muscle tissues. Yes. Yeah, so this is our rabbit. I've never seen that before. That's really cool. Yeah, this is our rabbit version. And I mean, there's multiple ones with longer shapes, 
bigger arms, bigger ears. But um, this is, I think, just a great beginner one that's not too scary. And we everything that we have on our site is like non-phallic because we just wanted to make sure that it was inviting and beautiful. And we wanted products that make you feel sexy and feel yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And there are p- people, there are vulva owners out there who have problems with deep penetration or even penetration in general, but deep penetration. And there's also things out there that you can um, put on top of a phallic dildo or whatever to um, um, stop the amount or to control the penetration or like the, um, what am I trying to say? How deep it goes. Right, to yeah. cushion it. Um, yes, to cushion it. Too. Do yeah. I don't know if I have it with me, but <laughs> that would be this. <laughs> yes, O-Nut. <laughs> so, oh, I do. So the O-Nut really is, here we go. The O-Nut <laughs> are wear paired. We didn't even talk about this. I was just bringing up other stuff that I, you know, that came to mind. <laughs> O-Nut, well, it's, it's true. And it's kind of needed. Like when you buy one thing, you're going to need other things. And lubricants is a whole nother category. Oh yeah. But another episode are these wearable rings that are detachable and attachable, but they're basically a bumper between your vagina and Mm -hmm. the penis so that it doesn't penetrate so deeply. Yeah. It's like (laughs) it cushions. Yes. It cushions. So yeah, there are a lot of, there are a lot of things that are out there and I didn't realize, I didn't know about Onut um until a couple years ago or like a year ago so i mean there's again there's so many there's so many resources there's so many things that are out there that can really help you enhance enhance your sexual experience whether it's by yourself or with a couple or i mean you know with a partner or multiple partners. Oh, that's fairly new. Only been around the market for about two years. It was a lady who created it. She needed it. So there was a need based on a person's experience. She was in so much pain and majority of women always experience pain in sex. So she created something that would not be so painful. And now it's doing awesome. Cool. <laughs> the O-Net. O-Net. So we've done... External, we've done rabbit. Um, the most popular external too that's just getting so much wave and and uh communication and buzz is the womanizer, which I wanted to show you this in a red one. This is the womanizer premium, it's so beautiful. They've been around for over 12 years now, but this one's all medical grade silicone in case, so it's waterproof. This one is autopilot, so what it means is like even though it's on, you can't even hear it. Once it's touching your body, it can sense when it's touching your body to air pulse the wind to give it almost like an oral sensation on your clitoris. So this is on your clitoris. Wow. So it's like, it's really, um, what do you call? Um, It's very advanced. They are very... The technology is advanced. They are. They're the innovators of the industry, um, very much focused on the technology and have patents on the design, the motors, the air pulse technology. They wouldn't use the term sucking. It's just pulsating the air really fast, like a flutter, flicker, and it's giving that sensation onto your clitoris like it's an oral pleasure. Yeah. So. And I have to be honest, because I have tried uh, in a variation of the Womanizer. I enjoyed it, but I also felt um, like it was almost a little irritating for me. And again, like you'll you'll probably have this as well. You'll find some devices or toys that are out there that you like and you enjoy, and then there's ones that are like, okay, this is not. The best for me. Um, the magic wand was too aggressive, and I would say I I was, would say for myself the womanizer was also um, irritating because it was just like too much on my clit. Like it was it was very yeah it was a lot too intense. So yeah, I mean again that's why there's so many different options and maybe even trying like a small the lighter mode. I think. I think automatically as humans, we always go to the highest level. We want to go <laughs> the fastest. We want to go to the biggest. You can just start off on the lowest le- setting and try it that way. And maybe even try it underwater because then the water will also like dilute it 
Um, <laughs> I <loot> it. <laughs> and then um, be able to kind of explore. Also, you know what? Our bodies change depending on what day of the month it is. Like, yeah. Cycle. Like, I'm more sensitive or versus not as sensitive on what I ate and whether I slept well or not the night before. So, yeah. It's always going to be different. So they say, too, whatever toy you try and give it more than, like, three to five chances. Like, so, Mm. like, don't just try it once. Be like, that didn't work for me. I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Yeah. You've got to try it five times. Try it a couple times. Get it used to it. It takes practice. Yeah. It does. Yes. They are toys. (laughs) They're toys. Yeah. You're supposed to, like, have fun with it. Yeah, to have fun. Whether it be a solo play or exploring it yourself, it's definitely an entertainment for you and your partner. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, would, yeah, I would definitely say to try it out and see how it works because I've never seen it before where it's just clitoral stimulation. The clitoral cl- the clitoris gets a lot of love and attention and hail to the clitoris. <laughs> yes. And for people out there who haven't heard, you most vulva owners actually need clitoral stimulation in order to have an orgasm. And so there are people out there, vulva owners out there who can have just regular, just penetration, internal penetration, and they can reach orgasm. But most, the majority of women need some clitoral stimulation. That's absolutely true. So there are more probably external toys than internal toys, I would say. Mm -hmm. A lot of focus to the external. So, yeah, because it is so painful to have intercourse and having internal sex. So that's why the clitoris gets all this love and attention. Yeah, so so many advices. Yeah. So the one I'm holding now is very brand new. Just came on the market. Um, it's not even even on my website yet, but it will be by the end of the month. This is called the Lord De Carlo Sway, and it's a warming device. Yes, you heard it. This device cool. turn it on. It will actually warm to a slight few degrees Fahrenheit warmer than your body temperature. So about 99.9 up to 104 degrees to warm it. And the reason is because then you're not having like a cold from zero to a hundred again, like shocking to your body. Yeah. Warm almost like to your body temperature and just having a good different sensation. So temperature play is always a different factor now. Then of course you have the different modes and speeds it's waterproof, rechargeable. Um, this is a double-ended toy, which I love this design. Uh, a lot of pelvic floor therapists are calling me about this because it's so firm. It's actually a great trainer for your pelvic floor muscles to train and strengthen the muscles in there. This is designed to be on the G-spot. So this actually has an indentation of the toy to hit that G-spot even closer. Yeah harder just for a different feel and you of course you can pivot this while it's inside you and this actually is designed for the p-spot so you can actually use this device for prostate play Mm, i like that okay but if it is for two women um can it be for like one inserted into one and another inserted into the other partner Mm -hmm. okay you can get very creative with this. Creative, yeah. <laughs> in multiple different positions for dual for dual partners, um, for solo play as well, of course. But for two people, you could, of course, use this for your G-spot if it doesn't hurt too much. Everyone's body is different. This might feel really good. This might be very painful for some in their vagina. But this was designed for the P-spot as well. Mm, I see. And so for the men who are listening, um, who have a prostate, um, I always recommend for, you know, like trying it out, seeing how it is, um, because there can be a lot of pleasure from prostate massage. It's so healthy for them too, isn't it? That's like they need that as they need that prostate to be massaged. Hence, almost it's like a warm up for your um, not colonoscopy, but maybe that too. But even <laughs> like a prostate exam, so you might as well start getting like practice and exercise there. So this could be used for the prostate guys, and then this goes into the vagina. Mm, I see. Not separately that's up to you (laughs) okay or I mean even for women who want to use it you know anal play I'm sure that that can also be used for anal play exactly yeah so that's for that I like that then the other two I just wanted to cover were couples devices so couple devices we talk about this is more focused on heterosexual couples 
and of course two of the same partners can figure it out and i've heard so many creative things that they can do too but uh this one specific i'll start with this one first is the we vibe chorus so it used to be called the we vibe sync it has advanced to the chorus actually the toy itself is exactly the same what's changed is the new remote so this remote what you could do is when you pair it to your toy you can squeeze the remote and it can control the vibrations of the chorus I know this is the advanced technology that we're seeing. Um, we Vibe and Womanizer are from the same company now, and so Wow, they're called Wow Tech. But the technology is so amazing. Along with the squeeze remote that you can control the chorus, this also is Bluetooth enabled, so you could have a partner control the vibrations of your toy from anywhere on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth around the world, long distance waterproof, rechargeable. This is dual motors and this can really adjust and really hit everyone's body different shape of G spots. Yeah. And the idea is that you could the vagina owner would wear this internally and then he could make love to her. Like oh. That. So it's external stimu well external and so you said dual motor. External so you can vibrate both sides In yeah mm -hmm. and then so he'll actually also feel the vibrations internally maybe externally so different positions she will get clitoral stimulation out here and then internal g-spot vibration in here yeah or water and it holds very well because i also have that <laughs> yeah so like and and that's why this um arms can change so much because everybody's body and vulva yeah, is, different. is different yeah different Make shapes and sizes all unique Totally. And mm -hmm. everyone's body is different. So you're going to have to wiggle around and play with it to see what's the right shape for you. Mm -hmm. Give it more than five tries. But this has been this company has been around a long time and they wouldn't be making so many versions if it wasn't successful. So yeah. It's yeah, no, I like I like WeVibe. <laughs> Beautiful charging Display. case. And yeah. And then if you're not like wowed and don't need all of the Bluetooth technology and long distance and remote, this is Eva by Dame Products, mm -hmm. woman created design. And the idea is that this nuzzles in, the arms are very flexible and it nestles into your labia, giving you clitoral stimulation up here, three speeds, three modes, and then still room for him to make, to insert. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you want to just, you know, walk around with uh, Eva and you can, it, it holds pretty well. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah, kind of vibe. You can wear it as a panty vibe. Mm-hmm, you can. <laughs> Adding a little, you know, spice yeah. to your day, spice to your day. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, but good vibrations. Walk down with good vibrations. Go walk down with good vibrations. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so of course, Viva La Volvo, we focus a lot of on more women-focused products. I didn't want to forget about one guys, the guys or penis owners. This is the We Vibe Pivot, and it's a penis ring. So okay. you wear this at the base of the penis. It's super stretchy, or you could also wear it around your testicles. It's just personal preference. And what's nice about this one, this is the traditional ring shape, is that depending on the position, but say missionary style, this could also grind onto the clitoris for her. So you would be able to feel the vibration sensations as well as he does too. Yeah. But these, the entire WeVibe line is Bluetooth and connected app enabled. So you can control the ring and this at the same time, like you have two different partners, control each other's toy. <laughs> so wait, that, does that have a remote too? Does the ring have the remote? The ring doesn't have a remote, uh -huh. it ha but you can control everything on your, on your, on app. your phone. Okay. Load the free app on your phone. Okay. But you, are there are also ways to push on it to change yeah. the different modes? Okay. Okay. Have to use the app if you don't want to. Yeah. Like, sometimes it just kind of gets in the way in the bedroom. So you can definitely just control it from the toy itself mm -hmm. or, through the app. But yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool also. I mean, yeah, it's it's direct stimulation, right? Like if it's on the penis, then it can still indirectly vibrate for the woman. Right. And mm -hmm. so if you don't like anything that's too 
intense and it's too directly on your clitoris, this could be almost like a, um, a barrier. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll feel it as like a secondary vibration. So it's not mm -hmm. really intense. Yeah. I know we threw in a lot at all of you. So if this is all too much and overwhelming, feel free to reach out to Dr. Kara or myself. I'm asking any questions because I love consulting and I love being able to curate it and customize it for everyone's different journey and experience of their body of where they're going. Yeah. But what I love is Rihanna just came out with this adorable pouch. Ooh. It's called the First Vibe Kit. I like what you said. It's like a starter kit. Almost. It's a starter kit. So if you don't have any vibrators out there and if you're like, hey, I want to start, this is the perfect kit, right? I have no idea what I want to, I, I don't even know where to start. Like, what do I get? This, yeah. like, who doesn't love the pouch? Put this in your purse, put your makeup in it, whatnot. It comes with a battery operated bullet vibe, very on off battery operated. So just strong intensity, use it on your clitoris, your vulva, internal, external. This is great mm -hmm. to start with. Then Kegel balls. So if you want to just do some Kegel exercises to strengthen your muscles and help with those uh, orgasm feels. Yeah. <laughs> and then this she just threw in, I think it's like so beautiful. If you're going to explore with anal play, might as well make it a beautiful bling <laughs> jewel. Jeweled uh, anal plug. <laughs> yeah. And it's like encased all in silicone. It's super soft. Like yeah. your bio skin um like smooth like a baby's butt for your That's butt cool. <laughs> for your <laughs> it feels like a baby butt for your butt <laughs> oh, yeah. this, would be, <laughs> this would be the starter kit that's nice so it. yes there are so many things that are out there um just get started if you're overwhelmed just get started if you have a local um, if you have a local sex shop that you have like been wanting to go to, but you know, don't know where to start, just walk in and you can check out some of the products that are, that are here. You can also go on to Metamore website, um, and find all of these devices, sex toys, sex joys on Metamore. Um, and of course, for the people who are listening, there is a code for you that you can use. Uh, when you check out Viva La Vulva, all one word, um, and you can get a discount on the uh, sex toys that you want to get. So there are so many different ways to get them, whether it's sex shop, you walk in, uh, you do it online discreetly. Um, and if you have any questions, yes, you can always reach uh, myself, Dr. Kara at Viva La Vulva LA .org, um, or you can email or DM Metamore um, for questions about sex toys because there are, yes, many out there. Um, and just get started with one if you're open to doing it, of course. Yes. We want you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It can be overwhelming. It, it's a lot to learn. And I mean, this is what we do day to day in and out and talk about products. So you're like, where do I start? Um, if I may share it, Metamore, there's a page called how to buy a vibrator and where to start. It's an entire guide breaking down all the different internal, external, the materials, how to use it. What are you looking for? So if you have any questions, kind of browse through that. And exactly, feel free to reach out to us. You're not alone. Talk to someone, talk to us. And we just hope that you find a good balance of your sexual health and pleasure for yourself. Yes, because pleasure is our birthright and you definitely deserve it. So um, thank you, Lily Wang, for being on the podcast and sharing all of these lovely uh, toys with us. Um, and if you, uh, want to follow us, uh, it, we are on social media, um, Viva La Vulva LA, um, just Viva La Vulva LA, one word, um, and yours is Metamore One. <laughs> yes, Metamore One. Um, so head over to there. Um, follow us, ask us questions, DM us if you want to. Um, and if you enjoy this podcast, definitely subscribe. Let your friends and family know about it um, because my 
goal and my uh, mission is to empower sexual health um, in a fun way. Um, it does not have to be shameful. It does not have to be embarrassing. Um, we all or most all of us have sex and we want to enhance it. And I want to um, allow or have women find pleasure in sex rather than pain because I've heard it way too many times and it does not have to be the case at all. So um, with that being said, again, thank you, Lily. And thank you everyone for uh, joining us for this episode of Viva La Vulva. I am Dr. Kara Quant. And we're out. Bye.